For those of you that like to use the curves adjustment inside of Lightroom or Camera Raw, Adobe recently added a really small adjustment that's actually a really important adjustment. It tackles a very common problem that you could run into if you're using curves. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what it is. I'm inside of Lightroom Classic in the Tone Curve panel, and this is the latest version as of uh, mid-June or so of 2023. It's version 12.4, so make sure you're on that version. And then uh, if you're using Camera Raw, whether it's opening a raw photo or Camera Raw filter, same thing, you just gotta make sure you're on Camera Raw 15.4. Okay, and that remember that is a separate update than Photoshop. And of course, all questions and issues about updating should go to Adobe, not in the comments. All right, so we come over here to the tone curve. And most typically people do some, some basic adjustments then hop down here to the tone curve for uh, specifically manipulating areas of the photo. So if you use curves, um, what we what you typically do is, you know, you kind of boost the boost the highlights and the midtones a little bit, and then typically pull down on the shadows. I'm not a big tone curve person. I, I typically will use contrast and whites and blacks and basic, but everybody has a different way to do it. And, and I can't deny that curves are very, very popular. So what you do is you start to pull down these dark areas to start to put a more a little bit more blacks into the photo but what comes along with that is saturation okay so while the black level might look okay a lot of times people and i think it does here i don't think with that i don't think that i've pushed the blacks too far here but the problem is is what comes along with that is oversaturation okay so what we you do is you have to pull that back and then that doesn't give you the black point that you want but it's not as saturated so it's a little bit of a push and pull. Well, now uh, what we have here is this refined saturation adjustment because back, back in the days when people primarily used Photoshop and we could use curves inside of there, we could, we could somehow get around that saturation by using blend modes. We don't have blend modes here, but now we do have refined saturation. So if you see those greens get very much oversaturated here, I can pull that back, okay? I'll zoom in a little bit, Command or Control Plus, and that way you get a little bit of a better idea of what this is doing here because you can just see really the saturated part between the purple and the greens. Again, see if I just pull this back. You can see the difference. That brings it down to zero. That cranks it up to 100. Again, back down to zero, back up to 100. So this will let you refine that saturation that gets added. Again, especially with the blacks, it, it's not to say it doesn't happen up toward the top there, but most often happens with the black. So you can keep your black point where you want without the risk of over saturating your photo. Okay, so I'll flip over into Camera Raw and let's just take a look at a landscape example. And before we do that, very, very promise you 30 second word from our sponsor. Um, I have a Photoshop how-to course that's fairly new and it covers over a hundred how-tos in Photoshop. It's not how to use Photoshop, that's a beginner's course. This is picks up where I don't have to show you how to add a layer, but more how-to techniques. So how to blur a background, how to darken the sky, how to make a luminosity selection, how the best you know conversion for black and white. And yeah, I totally get there are many places to find lots of how to's on the internet, but my customers tell me that the best part about this course is it's cohesive. I get it, there's ways to do things that are 20 years old, there's ways to do things that are new today and modern. I have no skin in the game on which one, I'm always gonna show you the best way. So I hope you'll swing by and check out the course. Okay, so we are over here inside of Camera Raw again, whether you open up a raw photo or whether you're inside of Photoshop and you go to the Camera Raw filter, you will find the same curves panel here. And it works exactly the, exactly the same as it does inside of Lightroom. So maybe I boost the bright areas a little bit. Maybe I pull down on the blacks. Some people like to use curves for, for something like this. I prefer, you know, and everybody's different. You know, I prefer a little bit more pastels to my photo, a little bit softer look. Some people like a contrastier look. And if you use curves to get that contrast, then the problem is, is you do oversaturate the photo. So now you've got this refine adjustment here where I can move between zero and 100 and still get the contrast that I wanted from the photo, but not necessarily the oversaturation that comes along with it. Also, I did a video a while back on completely controlling your colors inside of Lightroom and Photoshop. So we're talking about color saturation here, but if you're really looking to, to, to get a lot more control over your colors, that video would be a great place to go to next.